All right, so welcome back. Last time I showed you how to make a position time graph from a motion diagram. So as a quick recap, here we have a cheetah along some grassland and a tree. The cheetah begins to the left of the tree and we're gonna represent the cheetah by dots. That's what we did in the motion diagrams, starting from zero. So let's suppose that a cheetah is moving to the right. And then we're going to add an index for each of these. Index just indicates the time that we're considering. From a motion diagram, how we draw the position time graph, you need to think back to the movie Inception, which means things are rotated. So let's copy this and rotate. Now we're going to add our position time graph. So we're going to make the vertical axis going to be position and the origin. We're going to set it right where the tree is. This is our zeroth time with our zeroth position. And vertically we're measuring position. So it's D and horizontally we're measuring time, which is T. All right, so what we do, we're, now we're gonna make the, a few labels along for time, and a few labels for horizontal uh, position, but here it looks vertical, right? But since the cheetah starts from the left of the tree, we can represent that with negative numbers. So let's include negative numbers as well. Okay, so now we're going to be plotting the, and at time zero, that's where the cheetah first begins. And okay, so that's the initial one. Uh, let's do it for one. So we have a new point for two seconds, at three seconds, at four seconds, at five seconds, six, seven, and eight and as discussed before we want to create a line of best fit to represent the trend the best way we can but notice that there's a kind of like two different spacings right at first it's kind of consistent then the spacing gets larger consistently so let's try to see if we can find two trend lines so starting from the initial position and then from time five onward. So notice that these two, they're both linear re relationships, but the steepness of it varies here. Or as we saw before, the steepness tells you how much distance is covering in the same amount of time. So here in one second, we're covering one meter. From six to seven, one second, it's covering one meter from seven to eight it's covering one meter so for the pink line for every one second of time it covers one meter of distance let's see what it's going on for the red line in one second it covers roughly 0 0.5 and the next second 0 0.5 in the next second, 0 0.5. In the next second, a little bit more than 0 0.5, but we can approximate it as 0 0.5. And then from 4 to 5, 0 0.5. So here we have another relationship for the red line. So for the red line, every one second of time that goes by, the cheetahs are able to cover 0 0.5 meters worth of distance. So in other words, here we are, have different rates of how much distance is covered in time. So we want to be able to talk about the motion of the cheetah in terms of how much distance is covered in a given time interval. This is going to introduce us to a new quantity here. So from now on, when we look at a position time graph, the slope of the position time graph 
is going to give us the rate of position change over a time interval. So we can do better than this. The slope of the position time graph, we're going to represent this quantity by the letter V. And the rate of position change over time interval, we can write this as the change of position over the change in time. But in math, change can be represented by the letter delta. And position is represented by the letter D. So this new quantity, displacement over the change in time, which we gave the letter V, is the velocity of the object. So now we derive the new quantity, which is the velocity, which tells us how quickly an object changes its position with time. So when we look at these two graphs, we can say, okay, let's call the red V1 for velocity one, and the pink one V2. During what stage is the cheetah moving faster? Well, when the slope is steeper, which is V2. So V2 is greater than V1. So V2 is faster than V1.